I am not exaggerating when I tell you that I get over 500 messages a day from people telling me, hey, why didn't this trade work out? Why didn't this trade work out? And it's constantly the same exact mistakes over and over and over and over again. And absolutely, I need to make this video. This is the top 10 mistakes that happen every single day that I see traders making that you need to stop. You need to watch this video 55 times. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. Over 90% of day traders fail, right? If 90% of day traders are failing and they're all making the exact same mistakes and I have access to their mistakes because they send them to me via DM, I'm gonna share that with you guys because that's very important to know. It's super important to know how to trade, but it's also equally important to know how not to trade. And these are the top 10 mistakes. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same currency pair for every single one of these mistakes. Every single one of these mistakes happen on anything. You could be trading Bitcoin or Tesla. I don't care, same mistakes across the board. This is Australian dollar, US dollar, and people see the price move down past the 200 moving average. It's got great momentum. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. It comes up to retest. It goes down again. It comes up to retest, and they're like, okay, now I'm going to get into the trade. So their their position looks like like this, okay? And I'm like, what, what are you doing? You, you, you missed the entire move. Like you missed the entire move and then it went into this consolidation range and then it start, it's going to go up. Like why, why would you wait? And I know exactly why people do it. It's because they're not confident in their trade and they watch the price go down. They watch their entire trade blow right past them. And then they saw the rejection and they're like, oh yeah, it's, it's going to happen. And then they wait even more to the point where they've waited six hours to get into this trending market and it goes against them. This happens every single time. This is why I say you only need to focus on the first move past the 200. That is your highest likelihood of getting this chunk of trade. Catching 10 pips in this range is way easier than trying to catch 20 pips at this range. Please, for the love of God, if the move looks like this and you've been in a downtrend for a really long time, don't trade it. You've already missed the move. Sorry, Charlie, you got to wait for the next one. The second most common mistake is people trying to trade these divergences and not waiting for a trend line to break. Listen, when a price is trending down, right? And you're creating lower lows constantly, constantly lower lows, constantly lower lows. And on the RSI, you're making higher lows. This is a trending market and you're trying to fight a trending market. You need to wait for the trend line of the trending market to break before you get into a divergence trade. What that looks like is this. We have a trend line. We have lower lows. We have higher lows on the RSI. The trend line broke, retested, and went up. Wait for the price to break this damn yellow line and retest it. The next and literally the worst mistake that every single trader has made in their life and that you are probably still making is trading without a stop loss. It is literally the stupidest thing that you can do. And I'm going to show you exactly why right here. Market was in an uptrend. You see these big engulfing candles down and you're like, hell yeah, this thing broke the trend line. I'm going to target this low point right here because, you know, why not? And I'm not going to put a stop loss in. So that's what my trade looks like. Um, enter trade and I'm going to go grab a coffee and then I'm going to watch this thing play out. And you come back a few minutes later and your account is either completely at zero and blown or you're in such a deficit that it hurts your guts. Your insides are like rotting and you're crying and you're emotional because you didn't trade with a stop loss. If you would have had a proper stop loss on here, you know, you would have lost 1% as opposed to 100%. This is the difference between a good trader and a bad trader. Now, mistake number four, like everybody pretty much goes through this. 
you see the potential of trading Forex and you're like, man, if I start with a $20 account, I'm not going to really make any money. So it's not worth my time. That's where you're wrong. That's where you're learning. So what people tend to do is take $1,000 or $5,000 from their savings account. And they're like, with a $5,000 account, I can trade one whole lot size. And I'm going to make a ton of money on every single trade. And that's the first time that you've gotten into trading real money. And you don't understand the emotional aspect and the psychology that comes behind trading with real money. And it's gone. It's gone, you literally just threw it away. So what I need you guys to do is stop depositing so much money and actually start off with that $20 account or that $50 account. Only trade money that you are absolutely willing to lose because the first time that you put money into the markets, I 100% guarantee you, you're gonna lose that money but you're gonna learn so much from that one experience. The next mistake I see people making is way, way, way too many indicators. Your charts usually look like this. I know that there are millions of indicators on TradingView, but that does not mean that you need to use them all. You need to pick a strategy and pick one or two indicators that really, really like gives you the confluences that you need to enter your trade. Having your chart look like this makes me not only wanna puke, but is gonna make you confused because a lot of these oscillators are momentum indicators. So they're literally just telling you the same thing. You have eight indicators on the bottom half of the chart that show you the exact same thing. Stop doing it. Clean up your charts, use a couple of moving averages and one oscillator. That's all you need. Now the number six mistake on this list irritates me more than you guys will ever understand. I read every single comment. I read every single DM and there are hundreds of them and I get this one the most. Oh, uh, so I will put out a video on how to scalp on the five minute time frame using this strategy and I have specific rules for that strategy. And then people are like, so I watched your video and I saw that you were using the smoothed moving averages, but can I use the exponential moving averages and do the exact same thing? Well, shoot dang partner, I see that you were marking up them support and resistance levels on the one hour time frame. I'm wondering if I could do it on the one minute. Uh, Dude, I see that you were going for like a one to two risk to reward ratio. I'm wondering if I could do like a one to 50. So uh, I know that you said that this was only gonna work on four X pairs, but can I use it for crypto? If somebody gave you a step-by-step -step recipe on how to bake a cake, literally just follow the recipe and you'll have a good cake. Don't put tuna fish inside of it. And that's my rant for the day. The number seven mistake that I see people making is the fact that they think that they're gonna get rich quick because they saw some video on the internet on how to day trade and it is the wrong thing to do. You want to change your career path from what you're doing now to being a full-time day trader, but you want it to happen overnight. It is literally impossible. No basketball player was just like, oh, I'm great at basketball. I'm gonna be in the NBA tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. This is a really, really difficult thing to learn. It is a really, really difficult thing to do, and you need to commit to it. You need to be consistent, and you need to give it the time that it requires because if you have the audacity to think that $5,000 a month income is just something that you should be granted because you're now a day trader, you're wrong. This takes a lot of time and a lot of practice. I've spent thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours learning this. And I've also lost a ton of money along the way making these exact same mistakes. We've all done it. These are the growing pains that you go through when learning. The number eight mistake I see people making is not demoing for any length of time and not tracking your trades. People get into a demo account or a live account and they just start trading randomly and they're like, oh, I lost, I lost, I lost, I won, I lost. But you have no idea why you won, why you lost. You're not tracking your trades. So how are you supposed to know if your strategy is gonna be good long-term if you have no statistics to back it up? You need to get on a demo account. You need to pick a strategy. You need to journal every single trade, why you entered, what time you entered, everything about it, 
and then do a recap if it hit take profit or if it hit stop loss and why. Do that for a month on a demo account every single day, then look at the statistics and I promise you, you will go from being a D minus trader to like a B plus trader. It is the biggest thing that you can do to increase your skill level. The number nine mistake I see people making is so common and I completely get it. You try a strategy and then you win, right? And then the next time you try it, you lose and you're like, nope, this strategy is garbage. I'm going on to the next best thing. Or you try a strategy and you lose on the first one and you're like, no, this thing is a pile of junk. But that one may have been the best strategy on planet Earth. You have to understand that every single strategy has a win ratio and a loss ratio, like win to loss. Sometimes you lose 20% of your trades, sometimes you lose 40% of your trades. If you are above a 50% win rate on a strategy and you have proper risk management, you are a profitable trader. You have to understand that every single strategy has losses. No strategy works 100% of the time, it does not exist period. Stop jumping from strategy to strategy. And the last mistake on the list is people giving up. I get DMs every single day from people saying, maybe day trading is just not for me. Oh, I can't figure this out. What you need to do is think like a child. A child that is learning how to walk will not give up. It won't just sit there and say, huh, maybe I'll just never walk. I can't figure this out. You need to get into a mindset that anything is possible with enough practice and dedication. Don't think that you can just quit because if you have the quitting mentality, you're gonna have the quitting mentality for everything that you do in life, whether it is a weight loss goal, whether it is a relationship, all the problems in your life, if you just quit trying to fix them or quit working on yourself, that's a really deep topic. But I promise you, you're going to be massively dissatisfied with your existence if you keep quitting. So stick with it. Work your ass off. If you want to make good money in your life, if you want financial independence and financial freedom, you have to commit to things and not commit for a week or a month. You have to commit for the rest of your life. So basically, if you want to learn how to day trade, I have over a hundred videos on this channel of different strategies, whether it's scalping or swing trading or naked trading or indicator trading, whatever floats your boat. I need you to watch every single one of the videos and see which one speaks to you because demo that strategy and if it doesn't work out, come back and choose another one. My favorite one and my suggestion to you is start with this one. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it and you like the way that I teach, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking this button right here. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.